Sick. It's upgrade day on the 80 series, which is super exciting. To start off with, it's getting a new bar, it's getting a new winch, but there are some things we're gonna be keeping. This bar by Brutal Bars and Fab has been absolutely amazing. I've loved the looks and it was super well received by you guys, so we're sticking with those. I've been speaking to the team and they're working on something very special, custom looking, super aggressive, high clearance at the front, which we should be getting any time shortly. Now, why are we changing up the front end already? It's been only just a year. Well, because I'm going to a big boy winch. We've got the twin motor, uh, the higher twin motor run the winch to put in the front. It wasn't gonna be compatible with this bar, so it was the perfect opportunity to upgrade everything. My job today, however, is to get the front of this car ready to receive its new goods, which means aerial off, winch un uh, diswired, unmounted, and then I've gotta get this bar off somehow. So, wish me luck. I'm gonna swing some spanners and hope for the best. The front of this car has needed some love for quite some time now and over the past 12 to 18 months it's spent more time with nothing on its front than a ball bar and that ends today. The custom bar from Brutal Bars and Fab has finally arrived, the new twin motor winch from Runba has finally arrived, but before we do that, I'm going to upgrade this guy right here, a radiator, and we've got something very special, very shiny, very expensive from PWR that we're gonna be putting in this. If you know 80 series, you know that this is a disgusting job. Doing a radiator in these is the absolute pits. So we are just gonna try and make it happen. Uh, wish me luck. That's today's plan or tomorrow's plan. And probably four days after that. Oh, so heavy. The new Brutal Bars and Fab front bar. I had an idea, I sent it to Chris and the team, and this is what they came up with. And the reason we're changing, I think because I didn't like the other bar, it's because we've got a really special little winch going in the front of this. All righty. Step one, because I've been dying to see it on the, on the bar, is this new aluminium anodized red fair lead, which is gonna look amazing. I'm excited. Less talking. Should be as simple as undoing this Allen key and threading the other air free spool converter on. Hi guys. Unfortunately, we've hit yet another snag. The new bloody bolts are too long. So we've been lucky enough to score a PWR radiator Aussie made, thicker, high efficiency, all aluminium, absolutely epic. So really excited to put that in the front of the car. Wait till we show you them side by side because the difference is huge. Well, the radiator's in, and as usual, I had to call in some help. So Levi came to the rescue. We got the radiator in. The next step is gonna be getting those two brand new 760 CCA batteries in. 
normally. Ah, 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 ah. We're going to be linking those together to power the winch, and then we've got to get that new custom bar fitted, which is going to be a job for tomorrow because, yep, it's beer o'clock. Money. Money. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's when it came time to upgrade the Naughty 40, I was only going to go back to one team, and that is Chris and the guys from Brutal Bars and Fab. I called them up again and had something made up. This time, not tube, plate, and I reckon it looks a million bucks. So, what have we done? We put in a PWR radiator, upgrade, keep that big motor cool. We put the new bar on, we fitted the new twin motor run the winch. We've also got a new winch hook from the team at Roadrunner Off-Road, and of course, refitted that lovely GME aerial. Now, there's a few more things I do need to think about, such as driving lights. I reckon I'll probably end up putting a light bar on the roof, but that is a challenge for another day. But now, I just get to sit back and enjoy the afternoon sun looking at this thing.